Alright, Ant, you ready? I'm ready. Alright, roll it, man. Uh huh. Yo. Uh huh. Check, check. Uh huh. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Listeners from all around the world. All around the world. We are the Uncelebs. The Uncelebs. Y'all suck. <laughs> y'all, uh, <laughs> y'all suck. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you for uh, joining us. This is episode 88. 89. 89. Okay. So 89. 89. That was a good year. Yeah. All right. So we 89 mm-hmm. and 0. Uh, I'm Sean Solo. I'm Anthony, a.k.a. Nostalgia. This is Stephanie, Nomadic Goddess. And this is Dre on drums. No live? Huh? Yeah. No live? No live. Okay. Yeah. Um, so let's pay the bills first. Um, this episode, this podcast is sponsored by Anchor. Anchor FM is the easiest way to make a podcast. Everything you need, 100% free. Anchor is an all-in-one platform where you can create, distribute, and monetize your podcast from any device for free. So if you have it now... Go ahead and uh, download the Anchor app. Now, um, before we get into the, you know, the shit. Um, first off, I, w- I want to thank everyone um, who voted, you know, who participated in the third annual uh, Unceleb Awards. Uh, we deeply appreciate that, man. It was a, it was, it was, it was a close, it's a close race. It really was. Though. <laughs> a lot of, lot of nominees were neck and neck. Um, yeah. You know, a lot of a lot of last minute votes. You know, mm-hmm. I, I started noticing. I was like, "Fucking Dre's trumping the algorithms." So Word. He's, he's voting. I'm like, "Dre, you're not supposed to vote, man." Oh, well, I'm not supposed to vote. <laughs> I voted on every platform, <laughs> and I only voted for Mr. Robot. Y'all know it. I was like, "You fucking up the algorithm. You fucking up the rhythms, man." Even nah, with him voting, like. But nah, nah, it's, it's, it's cool. Nah, it's I voted cool. for everybody, so you know that's why you got so many ties. <laughs> <laughs> but I voted too. <laughs> oh yeah, see, uh, yeah, it was it was a lot of last minute votes. Like it was like a like one hour left before the the, the post was about to disappear, and like everybody happened. jumped. Yeah, everybody yeah. was just like, I was like, oh shit! Wait, wait, wait! No. Word, we really do. Yeah, so that that was a big big outcome, man. Thank you guys, and like I said, you know, it's all love. If you appreciate it, man. Word, we need to get y'all involved with more stuff. Word, yeah. Yeah, we, we love y'all, man. We love y'all. For real, man. For real. <laughs> we love you too, Uncelebs. Yeah, oh, yeah, you're too kind. <laughs> you yeah. like me. You really like me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, y'all want to run off the the winners real quick? Yes. No. no? no. What? No. No. Oh, this is already like, it's it's on the okay, IG. Cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Tune Go to in. our Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. All right. How how do I start this off? All right. So it's some very shocking news today throughout the world, throughout the basketball, you know, sports sports world. Man, we just lost a legend, an icon. The GOAT, Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bean Bryant. Black Mamba. Yeah. 24 yeah. to 8, the, the fro. <laughs> you know, it's it feels so unreal, like, hearing this, you know, hearing this news. And it, it just goes to show, man, uh, you just got to really live your life. Not not saying that Kobe didn't, you know, live his life. He, he you know, he five-time really champion. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure he did One-time everything. One-time MVP, two-time finals MVP. You know? Um, Mamba Academy, you know. Um, yeah. Oscar winner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Oscar winner. Um, mm-hmm. Body armor, like a lot of endorsements, you know, sneakers and, 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 and just a lot. And the fact that he was only 41 years old. Yep. He's young as hell. 41. Yep. And, and his daughter. Yeah. But see, yeah. But see like, you, you kind of forget that he's so young because he played for 20 years. Right. Like, you know, only very few players have ever played that long. And let alone in one jersey. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. In, in one, one team. team. Like, it, it is... Yeah. Like when 
today when it happened you look on twitter and you saw please god trending on twitter and every, everybody was just saying please god don't let this be true please yeah. god not kobe please yeah. god don't let these rumors be true yeah um it, it was extremely unexpected and as a celtic fan I hated Kobe when he was in the league, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, you, you had to because he was so damn good. And it's like, yo, he's yeah. going to miss that. He's going to miss that one. He's going to miss that one. What the fuck, Kobe? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just texting Sean earlier, like, yo, remember when he scored, like, 81 points? Everybody Eight. Was Against the Raptors, eighty-one like. points, and you like that's the second wait, highest. Wait, 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 wait. He himself scored eighty-one. By points? himself, yeah. scored eighty-one points. The fuck, the, yo, that's the second highest oh, that's, ever yeah. in an NBA game. That's the so only hard. other higher number is Wilt Chamberlain, one hundred, and he was a seven-footer playing with a bunch of six-foot-six white guys. Yeah. He was busting their ass, like not taking anything away from Wilt. But Kobe did it in an era where, you know, big guys aren't, you know, just he's not in the paint just, you know, doing layups and dunking on everybody. He was shooting from everywhere. And he didn't just take a million shots. In order to get 81 points and not take 70 shots, mm -hmm. you got to be making all of them shits. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, there's... There's probably as many Kobe moments in in his career, you know, Kobe accolades in his career, as some of these guys have actual years in the league, you know? Yeah. It's like, it, it was ridiculous. And then um, to hear, you know, his daughter, uh, Gianna, Gianna that, Bryant. That broke my heart even more. It really did because uh, only thirteen, man. The only, the main thing, the main reason you saw Kobe after his retirement, he was sitting on the sideline with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, always showing her the game. Like there was a, a real popular video of him just sitting down with her and telling her how things go, and they going back and forth, and he's trying to school her on the game and everything, and um. Yeah. And what a lot of people don't know is how good of a basketball player she really was. I never saw her play. Like, she, a, a lot of people expected her to be, like, myself, I expected her to change the WNBA. Yeah. Like, I, that's, when I looked at her, I'm like, yo, she's going to come into the league and she might get a lot of hype. I hope she lives up to it. But with that Bryant last name, she's going to be a star and she's yeah. going to sell more jerseys than any other WNBA player. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I, I just knew it was going to happen. And so, to, like, n we don't know how much we really fucking lost, yo. Mm -hmm. We it's really crazy. don't know. Yeah. And it's, yeah. it's just... You really really grooming her like to be like the best of the of the league like I, that's how i felt like if you have the black mamba grooming you to be the you know the best in his eyes you're gonna be a fucking beast yeah yep. and, and yeah. not only and on I, his I, off days yeah it's it's, it's crazy and i really felt like she was, she was gonna be a beast like if, if if this shit didn't happen today like she was going to be a beast Period. Like, yeah, it's just it's just it's just another. It's just like, yo, man. It's just like, yo, what what would have happened if you know what I'm saying? We would yeah. never be able to get to see that. Never. And yeah, just, the the crazy thing is is wild because it's like he's been in the he's been in the league for for 20 years. He just retired. He just he literally two years ago. And then yeah. a, a year late, you die. <laughs> like. A year later, a year or so later after your retirement. That's ridiculous, man. And the crazy man. thing about it is that uh, LeBron passed um, one of his stats. Like, he he passed at yeah. points. Career, like, Kobe had the third most points uh, over the course of a career. And LeBron literally just passed him yesterday. Yeah. So yeah. Kobe was just reaching out to LeBron. Congratulations. You well deserve That was of his last tweet. Yeah. Just congratulating oh, wow. other players on beating his accolades you know mm -hmm. like kobe kobe might have got a, a a real bad rap at times over the course of the league but yeah there, there's 
like there's no one like him you know like we saw we watched michael jordan and that the reason why michael jordan was the best was a lot of times his mentality that i'm not going to lose you're not going to beat me i am better than you yeah and the only other player that we can honestly say has that had that mentality since then was kobe bryant yeah it was like the closest thing to jordan you know and, what i mean like and even jordan would say that mm mm-hmm. mhm and you know, it's it, like losing Kobe is <laughs> equivalent to like as if we lost Jordan, you know, uh, yeah, almost. Know. Yeah, word. Bubble wrap that man. man. Yeah, you know, and it's just I, I'm just I'm glad that he was alive to know that you know he beat all the odds. Like he proved a lot. You know, I know he had you know he had that mentality. He's like, yo, one more one more ring, one more ring. But you know. <laughs> He he did he did more than enough, yeah. and I'm glad that he was there to witness that, and we gave him his flowers while he was alive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gave him his roses while he was here. You know, a lot, a lot of players, you know, came into the league looking up to him and just like sitting down with him and just parlaying, you know, just just getting gaining advice because you know they all grew up on him. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I remember I saw a post yeah. on, huh? No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I seen I seen a post uh, just like a couple of minutes ago. It was a picture of Kobe and Allen Iverson. He was like, "Any kids that grew up in this era is feeling the pain right now." And I was like, "Yes, yeah, yeah." yeah. You you want to know my favorite Kobe moment? What, what, which one was that? When he was in the commercial with Kanye. <laughs> More. Yeah. yeah. Wait, which, what? <laughs> he was just like Kanye was like, yo, I did this. You gotta do better. Do it more. Gotta, gotta, gotta go like I, I can't remember the the whole like you know what he he made, like, commercial but he was just saying like I did this but Kobe was like, nah, you gotta go further. You gotta do more, you gotta do better, you gotta go you gotta keep going. And Kanye is like, I'm I'm already the best. He was like, No. Give me more. <laughs> more. And then Kanye was like, How much more? More. <laughs> and then Kanye was like, What the fuck you talking about, Kobe? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nah, my, my favorite, the commercial, Um, I think it was like an ESPN commercial. It was like him, like, it was Jalen Rose. So Jalen Rose at the time was like playing for the Raptors. So Jalen Rose was in the restaurant. So he walked past and Kobe goes, Jalen! And he's just like, oh, shit. I don't see this guy. So he comes over to his table. He's like, hey, what's up, man? And Jay's like, hey, what's, what's going on with you? He's like, you know, I'm just doing my thing, stuff like that. So he came over. The, wait, the waiter came over. And um, he asked Kobe. He was like, uh, what would you like? He was like, I, I like a dirty martini. He's like, how many hours would you like? And he was like, 81. <laughs> and it was like, <laughs> and then Jaylen was like looking at him like, He's like, no, nah, I'll just, I'll just message you. I'll just message you. Just, just give me two. That's give me two. hilarious. It's like, it's, it's a little joke. He, he, he gets it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yo. You want to know? Another, you want to know another, another funny Kobe moment? What? I think somebody was trying to diss him in the crowd, so he was counting his fingers. One, like, two, like three. Oh yeah. Four, <laughs> five rings. Five. Five. <laughs> Yo. He was like, I got five rings. You, you, you want to know one of my favorite Kobe moments, and this didn't even, like, it was no words, and it was literally three seconds, and that was it. Kobe is standing, uh, guarding the ball, like Matt Barnes is trying to inbound the ball, oh, yeah. and Kobe is just standing in front of him. And Matt Barnes acts like he, you know, yeah. acts like he's going to th- hit, hit him in the face with the ball. Kobe doesn't flinch at all. Like, doesn't move. Just don't even blink. Like, that shit was. <laughs> it's like, nigga, I am better than you. <laughs> like, hit me in the face with the ball. Go ahead. You're going to re- regret you it. that shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, yo, Kobe was a killer, man. And, um, but. At the same time, I do have to uh, take a second to um, 
to point out some really garbage people and the, the kind of like the society that we live in mm-hmm. because um being that this is breaking news and it shakes the world when it happens but if you're a news outlet how do you compete you know somebody everybody's reporting the same thing how do you compete well you have uh, a bunch of news sources coming out saying that uh, all four of Kobe's daughters were on board and they were all killed in a crash. Now, for a, 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 a world, a whole country, a whole culture that's hurting, when you add insult to injury, and all I needed to do to find out that that wasn't true was look up his daughters. You saw you saw that his he only has four daughters, and you see his youngest one is six months old. You know that they're not letting that little uh, a six month old on a helicopter. So none of these now, if I can do that with simple uh, a simple Google, none of these uh, news outlets or whatever, none of them did any work. To try to find out if it was true. None of them waited till it was uh, confirmed. You know, right. and even afterwards, when once the uh, fire marshal and everything, and they have their press conference talking about it, they didn't come. Out. They said, "Yes, we can say Kobe Bryant was was on board." We're not saying anybody else who was on board mm-hmm. because that would be really disrespectful to. The it, family, to the family period. to sit here and say for them to find out that they lost their loved one through TMZ. Exactly. You know, yeah. like and but this is the world we live in where, you know, like it's all sensationalism, sensationalism. Um, it really pissed me off. Um, nobody's going to get fucking fired for it, even though I feel like every fucking news outlet that got that wrong. Or whoever typed that shit up, they should get fired. Yeah. I mean, like... The reputation is, like, finished. Yeah, exactly. You know? Because we see that all you want to do, you don't even want to confirm facts. Mm-hmm. You want to try to get clicks. Yeah, it seemed like they all were, like, they were worried about being the first one to, like, break the news. Exactly. Without the facts. And exactly. As as you said, yeah, that's that's the problem with a lot of these, you know, news report, you know, these news stations and, 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 and these bloggers. It's just like... It's just, oh, it's just, it's just very disrespectful. And it's oversaturated. I'm um, like something like death. I would think you would want to slow down and, co- and re- collect your sources. So, like yeah, something about the death of somebody major, as well as his four ch- minor children. Mm-hmm. All, all four of these kids are minors. You know, oh, like I, maybe his oldest daughter might be 18. I doubt it though. Mm-hmm. You know, like. They started saying that his wife was on board, that, you know, they were the five people that passed. Like Then they said it was like nine people. It was actually nine people. No, Nobody in the beginning, they were saying five. And then yeah. when they when they actually came out and back out, they was like, okay, no, it was nine people. It, like, they, there was... There, exactly. Right. Exactly. There was rumors that it was another uh, Laker, uh, Rick Fox... Was on board oh, with yeah, his daughter too. Yeah, yeah. Like, and I still don't know if that is true. Is uh, hasn't been confirmed, and I don't believe shit until it's been confirmed. You know, but it's just like, man, Ooh. at a time like this, it, it, that's like respect is key. You know, but you know, this is not what matters, I guess. But yeah. Um, did, y'all, did, y'all see, did y'all see that reporter talk about some? Oh, like she was reporting the news on his death, and she was talking about some Los Angeles niggers. Yep. Like she, like, she's saying, Los Angeles, Angeles Lakers. Lakers. She said Los Angeles niggers. I saw that, I and s- I I bypassed it. Like I I saw it. She could be fucking fired. I'm sorry. Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't understand what, like, how you I, make that mistake. You that know? wasn't a mistake. It's not a don't mistake, be fooled. Bro. That was not a fucking it's, mistake. It's, it's not a how mistake. the fuck? How? How the fuck do you confuse niggas and Lakers? 
Not even in the same syllable bracket. Yeah, like they should have pulled the plug instantly after hearing that shit. Pulled her fucking plug instantly yeah. after that. That's what I'm saying. Like, if, if, I, I swear, if she's still if she's still on the show after all this, then it's it is what it is. It is what it is, man. It's just that's like sometimes, like we all we all go through racism as as black people, but sometimes it's just like laughable at times. It's like really, like that's that's really what you. Los Angeles nigga? Really? Thanks. Like, that's what came to your mind? That's the first thing that came to your mind? Oh, of course. If, if she said it so fluently, obviously. Like, if Word. she said it so... It wasn't like... Yeah, you can't mix that up, bro. Because it's, like, like, it's like, how does that even make sense? Los Angeles nigga. It doesn't... Oh, it d- oh, I'm sorry. doesn't make any sense. Now, here's what's going to happen. Now she's going to come up, make some bullshit apology. Yep, written apology. Um, you know. Already came out. And then you see? Ari came out. They're gonna give her a little slap on the, oh the one, God. two, three, the, the, and then that's it. The network was MSNBC, and the reporter was uh, Allison Morris. Mm. So she's new. Uh, nah. She ain't new to this. Hell no. <laughs> nope. That's what they gonna say. Though. No, I don't what care. Gets, uh, her new ass can go on the street. I don't care. Yeah, but. Fuck all of the negative shit. There's been enough negative. I want to say, um, th- uh, the the moments of silence, the respects paid by um everyone in the NBA. Uh, that was beautiful to see. Um, Shaq, yeah. Shaq, uh, Doc Rivers couldn't hold himself together. Um, the mm-hmm. coach for the Los Angeles Clippers, mm. uh, as the coach for the Lakers, uh, as the coach for the Boston Celtics, he faced off against Kobe twice in the finals. One time beating him, one time losing to him, mm. and he he broke down in the middle of it. He couldn't talk. Um, but every game that was played today, everyone took a twenty four second uh, shot clock violations. To be, start the game, just to to pay respects, both teams, you know. Yeah, yeah. Just to give them a moment of silence and stuff, you know. And um, yeah. Some took eight second backcourt violations, you know. Like it's crazy. Mm. Both violations are eight and twenty four. Well, that's crazy. You know? And th- not too long ago, they announced uh, August twenty fourth as National Kobe Day. So. Yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah, you'll forever be the king and of even, L.A. Even to show, like, how much love and respect people have from him, even NFL was showing him love. Like, Word. You know, they was announcing his death, uh, a, you know, during the I forgot. The what Pro Bowl. The it's Pro Bowl. Bowl. Yep. Yeah, yeah. They was even announcing his death and, you know, showing him respect and love. That, like, Kobe was love, man. Like, yeah, love. man. It, it, iconic. Iconic, man. Yeah, yeah there's... Um, what, you want to say something? Oh, I was going to say, it's no one, like, no other, man. There's no, no way it's, it's not. Be, and I was going to get into it. I was like, there's, like, the the great few that stop the world like that when they die like that. It's like, yeah. I was talking to him earlier. I was like, Mike died, the world stopped. Yeah. When Aaliyah died, the world stopped. Yeah. When freaking Whitney and Nipsey Stan Lee. and Stan, Stan Lee. Lee and everything. It's like these people have a huge impact on the world where it's like, how is it that you're not here? <laughs> like, yeah, it's so surreal. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, even, no. even with people like me, I didn't really watch basketball back in the day when he was really playing. So it's mm-hmm. like, but I hear him or... You be in school and you throw something to track Kobe. Like, like it's just he is such he is so ingrained in us, and yeah. it's like, yo, he's gone. It's like, yo, and nobody, nobody screams Steph when they make a shot, <laughs> even though like, like that, his name is synonymous with making buckets. Like, yeah, shout out to uh, Dave Chappelle, <laughs> <laughs> Kobe. <laughs> Yo, man. I don't want to sound. I don't want to sound pessimistic or anything, but it's like, like how a lot of people are saying, like they, like 
they're not making stars anymore, man. They're not making icons legends anymore. You gotta give them time. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, gotta let them. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta give them yeah. time. Nobody, nobody is a star or a legend overnight. You have to give them time. Like, it took yeah. years for Kobe Bryant to become Kobe Bryant. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like, but you like, you won't know until twenty years from now. You know what I'm saying? Right? Yeah. Right. And I and I'll tell you this. Um, very few people have Im- impacted the game as much as Kobe Bryant. So when you watch a player like Jason Tatum or Carmelo Anthony or you know like just about any sh- shooter or you know anybody who's going to do a step back three or uh, a fadeaway jumper. You, you going to see Kobe. Kobe is one of those that studied the game, perfected the moves, and duplicated it on the court. And a lot of players in the NBA, you know, strive to be everything like him. So, I mean, yeah. yeah man. Mm-hmm. But sometimes, like, when you watch certain people, it's like, damn, you know, like, this person is going to be it. Like, and that. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, like you look, you look at somebody and you like, no, yeah, I can't let you in. You're right. They just gotta like, like wait, quit Jay Electron to jab. Like, yo, this is why I love this podcast. Yo. Like, <laughs> Jay Electronica is sleeping two doors down from you. Chill out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Like, really bad. Well, ain't it the 10-year anniversary? Yo, you know who disappointed me? Like, yo, you want to know who disappointed me? Kobe disappointed me. You know want to know how? Because in Game 7 oh of God. the fucking 2012 championship, if I'm not mistaken, Kobe Bryant could not hit a shot, right? That didn't disappoint me. You know what disappointed me? The fact that he grabbed every goddamn rebound. <laughs> he grabbed every right rebound just because it was all heart. Like a shot, yeah, that don't take heart. That take accuracy. You know, you you got to be on. And usually Kobe was on, but he couldn't hit a shot. And all of his heart was like, no, I am not going to lose this game. And he grabbed every rebound and hit a uh, meta world piece with the assist for the game winning shot. And yeah. man, yeah, I, that is the point where I stopped hating Kobe and I had to respect him because it's like, yo, now you can't say nothing about it. That was all heart. Yeah, that he, was all heart. The heart he, of a champion. He played man. the smart man, like you know his rookie. Uh, same thing like Jordan, he just dunking on everybody, doing these acrobatic moves, and then like his later years, you know, when he hit twenty, you know, the t- number twenty four, he's like just more practicing on his shots. Yeah, it's like, just, just a shooting super just finesse. Like, yeah, like, like, yeah, sh- you know, shooting in the, in the assist is just yeah, phenomenal, man. Yeah, yeah. Could we, could we take a moment of silence for Kobe? Yeah, yeah, man. Twenty four seconds for Kobe, man. Yeah, so um, that that wraps our segment with Kobe, man. Um, rest in peace, the condolences, you know, to his family, to his wife, you know, his daughter, you know, the rest of his family. Um, the moral of this is, man, yo, build your legacy. Yeah, and just live your life to the fullest because you don't know, you, you never know when it's your time. You know what exactly. I'm saying? You know, we would have never thought like. At 41, like, Kobe would be gone from the world. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, just live your life to the fullest, man. Um, if you have any grudges, yeah, have fun. If you have any grudges against people, Squash Let that shit it. go. Let, let that shit go. It's not worth it, bro. It's, I mean, not, it's not worth your energy. It's not worth your stress. Let it go. Yeah. yeah. The fastest way to kill you is, is, is holding a grudge against against people and That's shit. That's mad stress. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, like... Like the one thing that really it that it really made me think about is, you know, the whole legacy, you know, Kobe, Kobe died young. But you look back and he has he spent half of his life doing amazing things. 
you know, probably more than that. But to the public eye, he spent half of his life publicized doing amazing things that people wish they could do. So and it, it one of his greatest quotes was, I was blessed with all of this talent, but I work like I have zero talent. And that's, you know, and he just wanted to get remembered like that. So um, that's how I remember him as one of the hardest working players ever. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm just glad we were all we were all here to witness that, you know. Yeah, right. To witness that. So, right. I'll tell my kids about Kobe. Yes. Yes, you will. Yes. I'll yes, you will. About Kobe. I'll, I'll, I'll sit him in front of video. Like, that's what I that's I was just thinking yeah. that. You gonna learn this today? Like, like, you don't got homework now, but you gonna take this book report. <laughs> Black History Report. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, um, you your kid gonna ball it up and go, Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> Be like. <laughs> Oh, you don't know Kobe? Let me tell you this. He could be like, I know LeBron. Did LeBron ever score tw- 81 points? In nah. a game? Hell. Mm-hmm. Nah. It took him two games, at least three. Nah, like, <laughs> nah no disrespect to uh, no disrespect. <laughs> no disrespect to LeBron. <laughs> no disrespect. Uh, no disrespect to anybody, man, because everybody felt this. Everybody like, did, you know? They did. And, like, I mentioned it like briefly a second ago. But I was like, that's what I was saying. I really do love this podcast because, like, where else can we do this? It's like a therapy session. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's, <laughs> but that's <laughs> why I like our format because we're usually really light, even on shit that pisses us off. We're usually really light. And I haven't giggled. I only giggled like twice. Like I giggle when I'm nervous, y'all. Like that's that's why I giggle so goddamn much. But <laughs> but like um serious conversations need to happen sometimes and the fact that we can actually get in here and talk about it real quick like yo, it's weighing heavy. Mm-hmm. We need to discuss it. Let's get it out the way. Yeah. Cuz I don't want to deal with this all week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And like, the listeners they they feeling it. They're like, "Yo, when I when I listen to y'all podcast, man, I feel like I'm in the room with y'all. And that's good. You Ch- are. Pull up a chair. Yeah. You are. You are in the room. Yeah. <laughs> like like when you when you hear us comment, when you see us comment, say something about my hat. Do you like it? It's ten dollars. Come with me. <laughs> <laughs> so much. So much. Come uh-huh. get it. Yeah. It's warm. I'm conditioning my hair right now. <laughs> Style it, style it. Styling and protecting. D notch crochet. Yes. The plug, the plug. But yes, no, for real. Like I really love this platform that we have chosen to be on because it gives us a second to actually air out what we need to. And I think that's really good. But then most of the stuff that's not even worth it, we just laugh about it, move on, to get the the higher take, get the comedy take. I'd rather yeah. that. I don't want to be talking about news shit no, all wanna, day, every either. fucking day. No, no, no. We are not. Like, like it, it's, when you are, do shit like that, it's too TMZ. competitive. Yeah, it's too competitive when you do that. Like, it's like you got to be on top of yeah, shit. Yeah, like, nah, I'd rather man. just joke about shit, not offend anybody, joke about shit, and I, just go keep going. But, but yeah. offending some people is good. <laughs> the people I don't like is okay. <laughs> the people that deserve to be offended, if you offended me, then I offend you. You know, Allison Morris. Fuck you. Who's that? MSNBC. Oh. Fuck you. See, I forgot her name already. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, Wendy oh, Williams. Fuck you. She gets the fuck shit. Oh, well, yeah. Nah, I ain't getting the fuck shit this episode, but yeah, she still yeah, gets the fuck shit. Okay, yeah. I, I, I you, need you to get find two out why. episodes worth of fuck shit. Hold on. I, I'll give me a second to find out why. But you Stay gonna give tuned. it to her anyway. Okay. No, you gave it to her a long time ago. What? I can't stand Wendy Williams' let a Peabody looking ass. <laughs> I think that's what you said last episode too. Yeah. Oh um, man. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pick up my phone not once this episode. I'm like, look, it's time to. <laughs> All right. So you 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 want to wrap it up? Yeah. All right. So that this, that wraps up this episode of the Uncelebs, man. Um, 
Thank you guys for listening, uh, rocking with us. Just kicking it, man. Um, definitely check us out on uh, YouTube, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and Anchor. This podcast is sponsored by Anchor. Um, and yeah, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you know, all that good stuff, man. All right. All right. I'm Sean Solo. I'm Anthony, a.k.a. Nostalgic. This is Stephanie, Nomadic Goddess. This is Dre on motherfucking drums. And we out. Deuces.